And here we have Master Chef Tyler. And Master Chef Tyler, what are we cooking today? We're cooking a brown, a lamb, a lamb dumpling stew. Okay. The first thing you are meant to do is you are meant to brown the lamb. Excellent, and that's what you're doing now, is it? Yeah. And what are you doing? Stirring it around? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's starting to get nice and brown, isn't it? And what's the process of browning called? Caramelizing. That's right, caramelization. That's close enough. Caramelization. That's pretty close. Now, after this we do the veggies, then the dumplings, and then last of all, a surprise, the, the cookies and cream ice cream. Yes! Episode 2. So, now we've browned the lamb. And this is the lamb browned, right? Yep, very good. And here are the veggies that we're just going to brown now. And so my little assistant's just going to tip it in now. Okay. Let's have some juice. Some juice, and here we go. In we go. Yep, there it goes. Oh, and that gets hot. I'm glad I'm not one of those veggies. And last more. What are you? What am I putting in now? I think it's little pieces of garlic, maybe. That's correct. Now I'm just stirring it all up. It looks pretty good. What does it smell like, Tyler? It smells a bit like... Uh, I can't really describe it. Does it smell a bit like a stew? It smells a bit like a beef, actually. Does it? Well, that's probably beef right. Beef and lamb. That's what it smells like. Okay, so now we've finished the veggies. We've added in the bay leaves and the thyme. Now we need to do some, two cans of tomatoes and some tomato paste. The meat has to go back in too. Alright, so meat first, is it? Yep, meat is in. Woohoo! Now it's getting hot. Boy, it's getting hard. And did you want to tip the a tomato can in? Yep, in goes some tomato. Just the other one have to go in? Yep. Let's just And then what's the last bit of tomatoey stuff that goes in? The tomato paste. Now we stir the bay leaves, the thyme, the beef, and the veggies, including carrots, onions, garlic, and tomato paste and diced tomatoes. The stew is heating up and now we're making the stock. Here, I'll show you how you do it. First of all, you need a teaspoon. Then you need some salt, stock. You put your teaspoon in at the very back, then push it down and it all flies out. Now the stock is dissolved, okay? Now, it is in the stew. The stew is all finished now, nearly finished. It's bubbling up a lot. And now, I'm going to season it with some pepper and salt. Four turns of the pepper. One, two, three, four. Now, one turn of salt. There. Now it's going to be seasoned. Um, we've put it all in the oven, as you can see, and it's set for two hours and 30 seconds and 30 minutes. Now it is two and a half hours. Now, so that's all done. I feel tired. So let's relax. Okay, so now we make the dumplings. So, we need 150 grams of suet mix and of course 150 grams of self-raising flour. So, let's do it. Perfect. That's perfect. Now we need the self-raising flour. 
Well, you hold the base. You ready? Hold the flower. Here goes the flower. Okay, so here goes the flower. 150 grams. We're going to need 300 grams in it. Now I'm stirring it. See, both the ingredients are looking different. Now, we need to stir it up with our hands with water. Well, I'm not doing the work, so you are doing it. Wow, that is a great smell. We finish all the stew here, and now we put in these balls called dumplings. And is the meat I, tender? The meat is very tender. Right. Like it just falls apart when you touch it. Fantastic, okay. So, you can do the dumplings like this. Don't let them splash. That's it. Here we go. In they go. Yeah, get them all in there. That one's going to be a good one. That one's a good one. And in there. Last two. Hi. Wow, I can't believe how good it is. Look at the finishing product. Well, I think it looks great. So soon, I really want to get my teeth stuck into it. Mmm, yum. It's delicious.